so hello everyone in this video we will be uh, testing our Godot game in and mobile okay so how do you actually do that so um, the first thing you need to do is to install Android studio Android studio okay after you have installed Android studio you can go uh, into this first link and you can obviously download it and you can install Android Studio I think you know how to install Android Studio easily just hit next 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 and it should actually install it now after you have installed Android Studio you have to uh, go over here and install JDK so before installing Android Studio you have to do this and you can just download JDK over here and you can obviously install that JDK also so after you have done both of those things uh, if you go over here into your let's see over here in C drive program files you will be getting this Android folder and inside that Android folder you will be having Android Studio and inside Android Studio you will be seeing JRE over here and inside that you you will be seeing bin also so now if you go over here you have to install android studio and create a new project in android studio just create a project and just leave the android studio okay now you have to actually create a project and uh, do all of the android studio things now after you have done that then you will be seeing here jar signer right over here as you can see jar signer is right over here now you have got jar signer and likewise that if you go back and if you go into JRE another JRE and inside that bin uh, you will be having key tool.exe also so these two are important and yeah now I will just show you in my Godot so I will just open this Godot um, let's go with uh, the flappy board clone which I built okay so this is a flappy board clone so what am I going to do is first you need to go into editor and editor settings in here you have to put Android okay so this is only for testing if you want to publish it for Play Store then you have to watch my another video which I will be uploading after this one so over here now you will be getting all of these things now first thing you need is ADB so for ADB what you have to do is click on here okay in this one and as you can see you can go into this location so where is this location located let me just show you over here so if you go into this PC uh, Windows and users if you are using Mac then this will be completely different obviously and we have a thing called app data it may be not showing in your pc so you have to go into view and click on hidden files also over here and once you have clicked in hidden files just click in app data and inside that you have to go into local and inside that you have android folder and inside that you have sdk and inside that as you can see inside sdk you have obviously platform tools and inside that you will be getting this folder so you have to go ahead and find this folder in your PC and uh, just paste it over here and you will be getting adb.exe so you have to click on adb.exe and give it adb now after that we need jar signer so jar signer click on this one now as you can see jar signer uh, I previously showed you jar signer so it is over here uh, program files obviously in Android, Android Studio, JRE, and in bin. Here is our signer as you can see. Now you have to copy this uh, location obviously, and you you can just paste it over here. Paste and hit enter, then it will be getting you over here. And you have to click on our signer and click on open. So after you have done that, now it will be asking you for debug key store. So what is this debug key store we actually need a thing called key store for our app to run so over here we have debug key store at right now as you can see I am giving it some random debug key store 
so how do you actually create this de uh, debug key store okay so if you have already created project in android studio and run it then it will already create debug key store in this location so let me just go and show you it's in uh, this pc over here in dot android uh, this pc okay so let me directly on dot android inside users inside my name and over here in dot android and inside that as you can see i have diva key store right over here so if you don't have diva key store over here then what you can do over here is let me just show you um just uh, open your browser and uh, go dot publish android or export android whatever you want right so after you have gone over here exporting for android this is a documentation of godot so it is saying create a debug key store so you can just copy all of this code copy it and what you need to do is obviously go into your cmd key tool then if it is showing something like it could not be found or something like it is invalid or like some of those problems then what you need to do obviously is go into your disk pc and go into your windows and go into your program files android android studio jre and inside this bin as you can see uh, we have jar signer obviously over here and we also have key tool over here so now if you go a little bit back in this jre inside this bin uh, then we have jar signer likewise that we have key tool also over here so what we need to do is we need to copy this one of this one or you, you might be having only one but for me i have two so leave it like that um bin and what you need to do over here is just copy the location of that thing and you have to go into your disk pc right click over here go into properties and wait for a while click on advanced system settings and click on environment variables go into part and double click on that part and what you have to do is click on new just give its thing this one and hit enter i have already given it the jdk version so i will just delete it so this one i just gave it and hit ok and hit ok and hit like this now i highly recommend to restart the cmd and now let's write key tool and as you can see key tool is right over here oh what just happened okay so key tool is now working so this is how you can do that um, let's move forward with what we did and if you can see this is my location in my cmd it is over here so you can just go into order location also if you want um, but as you can see i am in my username so you i can just paste that thing over here now if you come over here as you can see let me just show you in this uh, command so yeah as you can see behind this aliases you have android debug key so you have to copy that thing and put it into a debug key store user okay and after that you have another thing called key pass android key pass android and uh, yeah the password will be android okay so key pass is android obviously over here now after that you can you, you can just hit enter uh, then it will do all of these things and it will just complete all of this now after you have done that then you can go into that location where we actually run our cmd so it's over here now as you can see over here it already created diva key store now i have to give this key store over here but i have already given it so i don't need another key store i could just use my uh, default one so i will just delete that one okay so that's how you can create a debug key store now if you want to run it for android what you have to do is obviously uh, connect your phone so while talking about phone let me just show you you have to what you have to do in your phone so obviously this is my phone obviously you can just see this small screen 
I am using MoVision mirroring. So you have to go into your settings and inside settings you have to go into your about phone and tap on um, I think in uh, for me it's MIUI version and likewise that it might be build number for you so you can just click on that build number for several times and after you have clicked build number around for 10 times then you will be getting developer options okay so let me just search over here developer options so if you don't know how to turn it on just google it how to turn developer options in this specific mobile so that could be your mobile now if you go a little bit down then as you can see i have usb debugging ticked right over here and likewise that i have uh, usb debugging ticked right over here and likewise that i have installed via usb also ticked over here now after you have done all of these what you can do obviously is go into your godot then you will be getting this small icon before getting that icon what you what you have to do obviously is go into your project and you have to click on install android build template okay you have to click on this one and after that you have to click on export and inside that you have to click on add and for android okay so you can do it for other platforms also so android and now as you can see now you have done all of these things it might be asking you to install some other things also some other templates also so you can obviously install that right from over here now if you have done all of those things then you can obviously click on this export project and just give it a name like flappy.apk and it will uh, export apk file so <laughs> apk file like uh, flappy.apk and i could just uh, install it um something like uh, let me just create here a folder some random name and inside that i have created this one and it will just uh show these things obviously exporting now it is saying signing debug apk now if you want to release it for play store if you want to release it for play store and uh, use it in uh, publish your game then you uh, you cannot follow this step you have to watch my another video i am just telling you again and again so now after it it has done all of these things you can see if you click on here it is saying jar verified that means it has done all of the things correctly so we don't have to worry about these things now i will be going into my documents and in, inside documents i just created a random folder as you can see i have apk so now what i can do is i can obviously go ahead and drag and drop it into my mobile phone storage and install it directly in my mobile but that's not the most case we want to do it so what i'm gonna do over here is i'm gonna click on this icon as you can see this icon and it will just do all of these things now what i will show you is in my mobile it's nothing coming so it's doing its thing let's give it a little bit time now it is asking me to install it so I will hit install so after that as you can see in my mobile as you can see my game is running over here oh. good whoa, whoa obviously like that you can actually run your games over here so uh, uh, this is how you can uh, test your game in your Android phone and you can do it for obviously for multiple platforms also and now okay so this much for today I won't be making this video long but if you want to know how to publish this APK or not this APK we have to create another APK for as a release APK so if you want to learn that then I will be uploading video right after this video okay